So as I'm sure most of you know, I've been radio silent for way too long, and so I'm not even gonna hold this over your heads. Uh, here it is. <laughs> this is the new car. It's a 2003 Mazda Protégé 5. It's basically a shitbox. That being said, it is also the daily, and I have a lot to explain because uh, I bought another car and I haven't uploaded in three months, and yeah, there's a lot going on. I have not recorded anything in here thus far, so I'm hoping that the dashboard kind of... Wow, nope, that looks terrible. <laughs> All right guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. It feels so good to be making another YouTube video. I know I haven't uploaded in a really long time and I have an explanation, so we're gonna talk about the car in a little bit. So if you only are interested in the car and you have like, you don't care what I've been up to at all, I'm just gonna leave a timestamp on the screen to when I get to where I'm going and showing more about the car. But for right now, just wanna give you guys a brief little life update. So I have been staying with my aunt and uncle in Portland for the last couple months because I'm doing an internship. So right before finals week, I was planning on uploading again and then I didn't because I got really sick and then I had to study and I was cramming and so it was a lot going on for like those couple weeks. But then I basically left right after finals and I came up here because I got offered an internship. It's been really cool and I've been learning a ton and I'm not gonna say that I've been too busy because of working because honestly, I mean 40 hours a week and then no homework would be fine. Like I could upload probably one or two videos a week. The problem was I chose to take on Online classes this summer to try to like speed up my graduation a little bit and even though just taking two classes doesn't seem like that big of a deal I was just so swamped with like homework and working full-time that I just didn't have time to make videos and on top of that all of my tools and everything I use for making videos is all down in Corvallis which is about a hundred miles from where I've been staying needless to say it's just been kind of a hectic summer and I've been all over the place and originally my plan was to like drive down to Corvallis every weekend or two just to make videos but my weekend for the last couple months were literally just dedicated to doing homework so I could pass those classes but thankfully as of right now I have about a month left of summer and I finished my classes up because they're slightly accelerated which is probably like contributing to why I was so busy because it was a lot of homework each week that being said I have a little bit more time to make some videos so hopefully I can crank out a couple videos before the end of the summer I'm not sure what those videos are gonna be like because I obviously don't have access to my tools so I'm not really gonna be working on cars as much but uh, I guess we'll see I can just make a couple vlogs and update you guys about things so that brings us to the next topic of why the heck do I have this car where's the Mustang where's the Porsche what's going on so I still have my house in Corvallis I've been renting it this entire time none of that's gonna change my roommates are still there they're just down in Corvallis for the summer at first I was daily driving the Mustang and that was a terrible idea that car gets like 14 miles to the gallon on a good day and I have to put premium in it so because of that, I was literally spending like $90 a week in gas to get to and from work. And it just, it was stacking up and my aunt and uncle kept saying like, hey, you should get a daily, you should buy a daily. And I was like, well, yeah, that'd be great, but I can't really afford that. But after looking at some numbers, I was like, buying another car would literally pay for itself in a few months. Like I can't, it's kind of hard to pass that up, especially because this car only cost me a few grand. So I was like, it's kind of hard to argue getting a daily. That being said, I didn't just have thousands of dollars sitting around. Like I'm a broke college student and my aunt said, that as long as I pay her back, she would buy me a car. I can't even describe how lucky I am to have that be my life situation. I mean, like, they literally bought this car for me. Granted, they bought it, but I'm paying them back at the end of my internship after I have, like, the cash. So it's kind of like they just enabled me, but I'm still buying the car. So it's not like I'm just some spoiled prick. I mean, I do feel very spoiled that they even would offer to front me cash like that, but it's not like I'm just like, oh yeah, here's my new BMW that my parents bought. You know, like I'm, I like to think that I still work for everything, but sometimes it's okay to get help from family and it's okay to have people support you if they're willing to. And that's something I was very against for a long time. I was like, no, I'm gonna buy it myself. It's all coming from me. But if somebody offers to help and you have a genuine need to keep yourself from spending like $100 a week in gas, like you might as well do it because you gotta just jump on the ship when the ship's gonna sail you know so all that to say I have three cars now I paid off the Mustang so that car is in my garage in Corvallis and then I, of course I swap my insurance over to this car so the Mustang is gonna be a project for fall term and I'm kind of sad that I won't be able to drive it around because it's not gonna be insured this car is gonna be insured but the next step to finishing the body kit and everything with that car I was gonna have to brick it for a little bit anyway like I was literally planning to just pull the whole thing apart and it wasn't gonna be drivable for a while because there's so much that needs to get done with the wheels off of it and you guys will see there's a whole plan but um, essentially I was unable to do that because it was like I could go home take it apart for a day or two 
but then I was gonna have to instantly just put it back together and drive back to work and it was costing ridiculous amounts of money so it just didn't make sense to do that and I gotta be honest I also lost a bit of motivation with the car just because I felt like it was never gonna get done because I had no way of like not dailying it for a while and the Porsche still isn't up and running and so I felt like I was kind of beat down for a little bit and the videos weren't coming out as much as I wanted to because I was like just kind of overthinking everything so I feel good that like now that I've finished my classes I get a little bit of free time to kind of make a game plan and then get back to Corvallis and start working on that and just not be afraid to take every single panel off the car because it's like well I don't I can't drive it on the street anyway and now I have a daily so I hope that all makes sense you guys will see in the weeks to come but yeah that's what's been going on that's basically all I have to update for you guys about me personally I want to hear from you guys too because some of you reached out when I was just kind of missing in action and I really appreciate that and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen this car already because I posted a little bit on there but I hadn't announced it on the YouTube channel yet so I want to go ahead and make this video speaking of updating the YouTube channel the YouTube channel just hit 3,000 subscribers a little bit ago and when it hit 3,000 there was already a video that was going up that I recorded before the channel had hit 3,000 so I didn't say thank you or anything but seriously 3,000 people are subscribed to the YouTube channel now like I know that's nothing compared to people that have millions of subscribers but it's just crazy to think that there's 3,000 people that saw what I was posting and wanted to stick around to see more. Like, thank you guys so much for the support. YouTube channel keeps growing and now it's at like 3,200 and in the time I haven't been uploading and I've just been doing my internship, the channel continues to grow and more people keep subscribing. It seriously means so much. I can't even express. So thank you guys so much for all the support and I'm definitely gonna be doing my best to keep things interesting once I get back to Corvallis and I have my tools and the cars and it's gonna be great. With all that being said, there's somebody that I want you guys to meet, and he hasn't seen the Mazda yet, and he hasn't been a YouTube video yet either, I don't think. I recorded a video a while back that he was gonna be in, and then the video ended up not getting uploaded just because I thought it was boring, which maybe I should just upload stuff even if it is boring, but I kind of like to keep things interesting. Like, if there's not some sort of update, I kind of don't see a purpose in posting, so. Anyway, I'm headed over to his house, and I'll introduce you guys once I get there. Bro, he took his shirt off just for the camera. Look at this dude. Bro, I told you I was making a video and you had to take your shirt off for the boys. <laughs> it's pretty much what happened. So, I don't, you were in one video, but I don't think you said anything. Uh, wait. I, I cursed out when I slipped on the driveway. Yeah, but I don't think there were any other videos with I, you in it. I filmed behind the scenes when we went to the car wash. Yeah. And I don't think any of that ever made it in a video. Well, I was I just saying that special. Yeah, <laughs> I was just saying how I ended up not posting that video. Yeah. Anyway, guys, this is Ryan. He's a friend of mine from college. You're pretty much the only friend I have in Hillsboro. So, um, yeah, this is his cute little BRZ. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, it's looking pretty good these days. Like, when was this, like a month or two ago? I helped you put uh, the lowering yeah, springs on? About a, about a month ago. Yeah. Put on, uh, put on lowering springs, and then since then I put on brake pads, rotors, uh, wheel and tire. I really like these wheels. Did you get this Fitment off of like Fitment Industries Gallery That's or something? exactly what I did. Yeah, I knew Down it. To the T. That's like the way to go. You just find yeah. someone that has what you want and then you just copy them. <laughs> yeah, I originally tried to go with this other company, but they didn't respond to any emails I sent. I'm like, all right, bun it. And so I found, uh, I found these for a couple hundred bucks cheaper. I was like, oh no. Yeah. So funny. Brian couldn't stand to see that my car was covered in pollen. Like, dude, she's not an impressor. Like, look at this paint. Did you see the hood? I will spray you with this. <laughs> Hey, are you even knocking over my hydroplast? You had to set it right behind me. <laughs> I am so sorry that you're such a tall clutch you can't see the hydroplast. <laughs> oh no, cry me a river. That would you were like, what, 6'1", six 6'2"? Six <laughs> yeah, Ryan, Ryan's very jealous of my height. 5'11". Yeah, 5'11 five, five on Tinder. <laughs> How dare you. Find a tape measure. All right, so I haven't really given any details about the car. There's not that much to tell, so this is a 2003 Mazda Protégé 5. It's completely stock. I bought it with problems. It still has some problems, but I mean, it's it's just the daily car right now. Eventually, I'll probably get like, you know, some wheels or coilovers on it, but legitimately, I bought this not to modify it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we're gonna see how long that lasts. We'll see how long it lasts, but for the time being, it this is a tool to get me around so that way I can build the other two cars. It's advertised that this car makes 130 horsepower from the factory, but this car also has 191,000, no, 192,000 miles on it, and I don't think it's 130 wheel. I'd be impressed if it put 110 to the wheels, honestly. 
I'd be impressed if you got anything more than 11 miles to the gallon in any car you drive. 11? Mustang! Dude, okay. That's the other thing about this car. On the highway, this car gets 31 miles to the gallon. And in town, it's like 26 or 27, something like that. Like, legitimately, this car will pay for itself in like less than a year because I don't have to just be chugging along in the Mustang everywhere I go. So it's not exactly pretty. I don't think it's an ugly car, but I mean, as you guys know, if you've seen some of my other videos, I used to make fun of Jason all the time because he had a wagon. And I stand by that. I think if you're trying to build a race car, but you're doing it with a wagon, I think that's a little bit strange. So this car is not gonna be a race car. Granted, you can do wheels and coilovers and make it look a little nice, but legitimately I want this car to be a, like just a cool little daily. I'm not gonna dump tons of money into it. Like the Mustang, I bought that car for about 9,000. And I'm like, I'm at like over 20,000 into the car right now just because of all the ridiculous nonsense I bought for it. And it's fun, but like, it doesn't make sense to be dumping huge money into a car that you have to daily. And if I want to take it to the next step, I just need a daily car. So that's where the monster comes in. Right, yeah, these quarters I'm foot to the floor on just all the time. I am foot to the floor right now. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> no shot, you're foot to the floor. Foot to the floor. The carbon fiber shifter. Oh yeah, courtesy of the previous owner. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's been just kind of like a, I've been sort of dead in the water and it doesn't feel good. So I know this video is not gonna be like, I don't know what my usual content's like, but that's okay. And also, so Ryan here goes to OSU. You can show your face. <laughs> Ryan goes to OSU, and for a while I haven't really had other people to make YouTube videos with. It's been kind of just me working on my stuff. Um, because Jason, like Jason and I are still friends, but he doesn't, like he moved out, and so like he's just kind of doing other things with his life, and we just have different priorities, which is all well and good. But Ryan says he wants to help build cars, so I figured, well, you can just be in the YouTube videos. What can I say? I like making shit go vroom. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ryan, hopefully you guys will see Ryan around a bit more. Yeah. It's not too much is going to change because it is still just, like, me vlogging, but I figured if Ryan wants to come hang out on, like, weekends and stuff, then he's more than welcome to. We'll, we'll call this a trial run for my cinematography. Yeah. And hopefully... <laughs> In the meantime, we can talk him into modifying his BRZ a little bit more <laughs> because he likes to wait like an entire year to add one thing. <laughs> I like to spend money slowly, okay? We Boy. can't all just drop in a new engine to our car because some of us only own one car. Look at that. Huh. <laughs> Don't see that every day. <laughs> no, most certainly do not. Jason will always send me like all these hyper cars on uh, Instagram and stuff and he's like the something 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 is like the coolest thing blah blah this and that and I'm like dude I don't even I never look at hyper cars or super cars because I don't have any frame of reference as to like which one would be better you know like, that's like another like decimal place beyond my consideration yeah. ever so I'm like it like I he sent me some post that was like which one you take in and I was like either or I'll take it and sell it and buy more shit boxes <laughs> Like, I, I'm a different type of car enthusiast. I just like to work on stuff and build things. I don't, I don't really care for like buying the most expensive car or the fastest car. I'm like, eh, screw it. I like my little my little protege. <laughs> that being said, I would definitely drive it. Yeah, you kind of rolled up to my house in the protege and yeah, and called my BRZ cute. Yeah, dude, it is cute. I'll take it as a compliment. Mr. Oh, I can beat you in my Mustang in a straight line. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh. If you, I if you be couldn't beat, beat my car in a straight line, I'm sorry, you've got, you got different issues. You gotta let me have it, because it's probably the only car that my Mustang can beat in a straight line. <laughs> I don't know, we can, uh, we can get Cammy to come along and bring her Prius. Okay, well, <laughs> I mean sports car. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know, the Prius is pretty sporty. Oh, God. Oh, dude, check it out, a little makeout spot. Well, why do you think I brought you here? <laughs> See, wow, I should have brought sunglasses. Yeah, I'm thinking about that too. Yeah. I normally come here at sunset, so <laughs> it's a lot better. Part of the problem with my YouTube channel is that I don't ever document anything else. It's literally just me doing cars. So whenever I'm out of a situation where 
I have cars accessible and things to work on. I'm like, am I even a YouTuber anymore? Which of course I am, but I have to kind of like put myself out there a little more and kind of get out of my comfort zone. Something I'm working on. So hence this video and Ryan being here. <laughs> Shading my face as much as possible. Yeah. This car is slow. Mazda speed, zoom, zoom. Yeah, so the Protege 5, before anybody says like, oh, you should have gotten the Mazda speed one with the turbo. This car never had, what are you doing? I'm trying to fix the lighting. <laughs> Also, it's okay if it looks a little bit dark on there because okay. it'll look better on the screen. Cool. Um, I should have told you that before we recorded. <laughs> thanks, the thanks for the preface. Anyway, Mazda never made a Mazda Speed Protege 5. They made a Mazda Speed Protege, but never the Protege 5. And the Mazda Speed Protege was like a last minute thing that they did in 2003 because they were rebranding all of their cars. So the Miata became the MX-5 and the, the Protégé became like the Mazda 3, all this stuff. So there was a Mazda Speed Protégé and they made 4,500 of them for the US and Canada. So that means there's probably less than 4,000 in the United States. And so because of that, like that's a really rare car and it's a sedan, it's not a hatch. And I, for a daily, I wanted something that wasn't turbocharged and is reliable. So this is, Probably not the most reliable car. Um, I mean, you've had, long... you've had what with it so far? Okay. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that the day I bought it, it, it stranded me on the interstate. Do I go straight or left? Uh, left. Um, it stranded me on the interstate. Um, that was because the clutch master cylinder went out. So I replaced the master and slave cylinder at the same time. And after that, no problems, really. I mean, okay, it also had a vibration for a little bit, but uh, if you show them, I actually have the wheel in the back seat. So I bought an OEM replacement wheel and just replaced that because it was like, it was bent and it was causing vibration. And then they rebalanced all the other wheels and said like, oh yeah, they were all out of spec. So they, I think what happened is the previous owner put new tires on the wheels because these tires are like brand new. So they put new tires on them and then never balanced them. <laughs> Just put the wheels back on. After that, it didn't really... Oh, that was the other thing. It used to smoke like a ton on cold start. And the previous owner told me like, oh, it's for sure burning oil. Um, and I was like, okay, well, that kind of sucks, but whatever. So then I got it and I like, I checked the uh, air filter and the air filter was just black as night. Like you couldn't see any light through the thing at all. So I replaced the air filter and it still does smoke on cold start a little bit, but um, not nearly as much as it used to. It was just running super rich because it needed an air filter. And I was just like, what? Like, are you just not doing any maintenance or checking on anything in the car? Like, it, and it seems like the car is just responding really well to the maintenance that's done. It is still smoking a bit on cold start, which is worrying, but I've been checking the oil every single day when I drive it, and the oil doesn't go down at like a significant rate. Like I've put basically 3,000 miles on the thing now, and it hasn't even burned through a quart yet. So I'm like, well, yes, it is burning a little bit of oil, but it's not, like I'm not sure why it smokes on cold start. I think there might be like some carbon deposits in the catalytic converter. That's not backed by any science, so don't, <laughs> Like, if your car is smoking on cold start, don't be like, oh, well, Caden said it's probably because of this or that or whatever. Um, because I don't, that's just a, a hypothesis. I really don't know what's going on with it. Can't figure out why. I think maybe it could be misfiring on cold start, so there's just like excess fuel. But it doesn't really seem like it's misfiring, so I don't know. There's some weird stuff with this car, but it's been running and driving reliably every day to and from work, saving me money on gas, and that's all I can really ask for. I don't have like 40 grand to go buy a brand new car. <laughs> Nor would I even do that. I don't think that's even worth it. I don't know. You can get like a new Supra. <laughs> hey, don't tease me like that. You know I really like Supras. What can I say? I'm thinking about it too. Get rid of the BRZ, get a Supra. Could be nice. You should. Eh, that sounds like money. And then you'd never, yeah, you'd never modify it either. Do anything. Hey, watch yourself. I would. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Okay, stop <laughs> placating me, sir. Dude, I have no idea where we are. Oh yeah, no, I'm aware. So I, I 
we had the option to turn back back there, but I was decided, nah, I'm gonna prank Caden. I'm gonna let him figure it out and like drive a bit more. What do you mean, let me figure it out? I have no yeah. frame of reference. Well, I know, it's just watch you uh, get us hopelessly lost. <laughs> this was your plan all along. Oh, absolutely. Serenade me with your lack of gas. What do you mean? My, I got three quarters of a tank. I got more. Well, you're not gonna have that after we're done. No, this this baby gets such good gas mileage. We could drive all the way to the coast right now. Well, maybe that's what we're doing. No, <laughs> I'm vetoing that. <laughs> what? like to be shift slowly shift sl shifted, shifted slowly. slowly doesn't like to be shifted slowly it's kind of funny like if you drive it like an American it's not gonna drive the way you want because I think most Americans are like oh 2500 rpm and they'll shift and it's like nah this car doesn't have the torque for that you gotta you gotta get it up in the power band all right so I'm gonna drive it real quick like first gear and I'm gonna shift at 2500 rpm I don't think you'll be able to hear it because the car is stock but like just bogs badly. Like if you shift it there, just not. But let's see here. If I go back to the second. There we go. Like that's how you're supposed to drive the car. Like shifting at like 3,500 to 4,000. That's just where this car is happy, and that's how it shifts smoothly. I hope that made sense. I don't know. It's a really interesting car to drive around in. Because it's like, it's slow, but it kind of makes you feel good because you always have to rev it up just to go like the speed limit. So <laughs> it's not like I'm beating the crap out of it, but I definitely have to give it more gas to get it to go than like the Mustang, for example, where that car is just like, you put it in first gear and it's like torquey as hell. I was like, whoa, geez. <laughs> car is trying to run away from you, whereas this car is like, you gotta make it run with you. Oh, give, give us that impression of your Mustang's kickback again. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> it does that. If you let the clutch out too fast in first gear, it's just like... <laughs> that just sounds like you're about driving. Well, the tune on it... Oh, the tune. Oh, no, the before tune. I, well, it's because of the throttle response. It's like very immediate. So if you're not like perfect, the car is just like, nope. It's not very happy. But what if we are perfect? Well, most of the time we strive to be, but um, sometimes you got like a cute girl in the passenger seat and you're a little bit distracted. No, I'm just kidding. There's never a cute girl in the passenger seat. I just suck. That would be me. That would just be right. <laughs> and you're just too scared to drive with me. Yeah. That's because you drive like a freaking maniac. Dude. I do no such thing. This man's like 80 miles an hour on 9th Street in Corvette. Allegedly. It's allegedly 80 miles an hour on 9th Street never happened yeah of course not but we still talk about it as though it happened because like I had a really realistic dream where I was in the passenger seat of your car didn't this <laughs> take place in Mexico yeah but yeah, yeah. like it was like Mexico's rendition of 9th Street in Corvallis yeah okay <laughs> that road is a 35 zone dude I, on parts of it yeah on all of it not all of it whatever you say this turns at 35. I hit it at 55. <laughs> My default challenge whenever I see those uh, those corner warnings, like, oh, this double is a 15 it. mile an hour corner, double it minimum. Yeah. <laughs> That's the rule. Once we get some coilovers on this baby, she'll. I mean, it already handles pretty good. Yeah, it does. It definitely does handle decently. It's completely stock, and these are really old shocks and springs, so yeah. I don't exactly have high expectations. For I mean, it. considering that we've had uh, issues with the clutch and other stuff. Hey, it's just... She just needed some love. She, she needs just, some love. She she was just saying, like, like Caden. Like, hey, my Somebody hit him. Owner. Hit his line. Hit his line. Yeah. <laughs> Shut I'm up. out here on the vlog trying to get, uh, trying to get, uh, Miss Odom. Miss Odom? Miss Odom. Jeez. Hey, free giveaway, date with Caden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a date with me. Caden, do you house. want to get closer to that bumper? What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? I can't, I can't even see their tires. I can see the one tire over there. I did pull up a little close. 
it's fine. <laughs>